Now CBS2 brings you the top stories covering the corridor. And as you just saw, our mild winter officially is over. And in the face of sub-zero temperatures this week, many of us still have to go outside. Doctors say when you do, whether you work outside or you're headed to the grocery store, it's important to be prepared. CBS2 News reporter Melanie Moore looked into how you can stay safe. She joins us live now from Iowa City. Melanie. My CBS2 Weather First app is telling me right now that it's 5 degrees, but it feels like 15 below. And as we learned today, it's important to know how low the temperatures are going to be so that you can be prepared. Active and Working in Mercy Hospital's emergency department, he's seen his fair share of frostbite cases. With the very cold temperatures coupled with the high winds, it can just be a few minutes. And so people uh, will start getting some tingling or numbness or burning pain. Barnes recommends staying well hydrated, nourished, and staying away from tobacco and alcohol. On the outside, he says, layer up. So you have a, a base layer that's very close to your skin, such as uh, polypropylene that will wick away some of your um, sweat, uh, and then a mid-layer such as fleece and wool, and then uh, an outer protective layer. If you feel a persistent numbness, tingling, or burning that doesn't go away when you try to warm up the area, Barnes says it's time for the ER. The worst thing is that the uh, tissue loss is so great that you have to have surgical amputation. Now, the cold is a very serious thing, Dr. Barnes says. If you do have to go outside, be smart about it. And in these extremely cold temperatures, if you don't have to go outside, it might be best just to stay indoors. And by the way, I did change into some more suitable cold weather boots. Covering the corridor in Iowa City, Melanie Moore, CBS 2 News.